Using artificial intelligence, we now have the ability to create human-like voices through text. Don't believe me? Okay, Daniel, go ahead and do the talking for me. Hello, welcome. In today's video, Corbin will show how to use the 11 Labs GPT. Yes, I am a robot, and yes, I can talk. Okay, that's creepy. But in today's video, like it said, we're going to be checking out the 11 Labs text-to-speech GPT. Let's jump in. So if you're not familiar with 11 Labs, it gives us the ability to take like text inputs and get crazy speech outputs like that. And just as recently, I had noticed that on the GPT store, we have the ability to use this within ChatGPT. Now this has two major advantages. I think the first one being like, it doesn't cost us anything other than the fact that we already pay for ChatGPT plus. And two, just allows us to start leveraging this technology without us you know, needing to create an account with 11 Labs to get comfortable with it basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to the GPT in the description down below. We're gonna go ahead and click start chat. And let's begin. To see how it looks in the chat interface, let's go ahead and simply click one of these pre-built text inputs. This one says, generate a short story for me and then convert it into an audiobook, two paragraphs. First, it is generating the underlying story here in the heart of a mystical forest shrouded in the mist, an owl named Oliver. Go ahead and pause if you wanna read the entire story here. Now it's asking us what kind of voice we want to have for this text. Jarvis looks tempting, but I'm gonna go with a different kind of voice here. We'll say number four. So I'll put four here. Starting action, it's accessing the external database of 11 Labs and all their API. It will now ask us whether it has the ability to access this data. We're gonna say confirm. And let's see what this output looks like. Your story has been converted into an audiobook with a female voice, great for speeches and podcasts. Let's gut check it and actually see if this is true. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this link. Moment of truth, y'all. Mind you, this is all fake. Like this voice is fake. This is where we're going to tech. Let's go. In the heart of a mystical forest shrouded in mist, there lived a wise old owl named Oliver. Oliver was known throughout the land for his sage advice and deep knowledge of the forest's secrets. One day, a young deer approached Oliver, seeking guidance on finding the legendary glowing glade, a hidden meadow said to be illuminated by an eternal twilight that healed all who basked in its light. With a gentle... It's getting harder to distinguish. Now, yes, some of y'all in the comments might be like, Corbin, I can easily tell that's a robot. Okay, give it a couple more months, give it a couple more years. It's getting harder to distinguish. This stuff is becoming so good that when they get it down to the point where the latency between internalizing data, e.g. me saying hello, and its ability to, you know, replicate that in a way to conversate with myself, like customer service agents and everything of that nature, it's going to be harder and harder to tell whether someone is human or not when it comes to audio perception. Let's continue this little owl story. Mental hoot. Oliver shared an ancient rhyme that held the clues to the glowing glade's whereabouts. The deer listened intently, memorizing each line. Thanking the wise owl, the deer embarked on a journey filled with challenges and wonders. Guided by Oliver's words, the deer finally discovered the glowing glade, its beauty surpassing all tales. In that magical meadow, the deer found... Powerful. So then the first thought might be like, okay, but that sounds too generic. That sounds like a story. Therefore, of course, it can probably recite a story correctly. Let's make it say something that just sounds so random and crazy and see if it sounds like real as well. <laughs> to do that, I am just going to basically write a couple of sentences of gibberish. I am a penguin that flies planes in the mountains to a great place where I can eat all the fish and the fish ride snowboards i'm just doing complete gibberish i know y'all might be like what are you even what's going on in your brain corbin i'm doing complete gibberish because i want to see how it like you know interacts with this kind of like text right okay let's do the voice for this hit enter and see what the output is we got another choice here let's go ahead and switch it up y'all children's story i'm honestly jarvis keeps looking at me i'm gonna try jarvis it may sound a little bit too robot-y let's see i'm gonna hit confirm let's hit the link here Boom. I am penguin that flies planes in the mountains to a great place where I can eat all the fish and the fish ride snowboards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, this is getting crazy, y'all. Let me know in the comments. Listen to that. I am penguin that flies planes in the mountains to a great place where I can eat all the fish and the fish ride snowboards. I think the only thing that kind of sets it off like possibly being fake is like it almost sounds too good. Like it's in a studio. You know, when you're on a phone call, like it obviously doesn't sound that good possibly could not sound that perfect in that way. Imagine they like were able to mimic the way that maybe a phone call would traditionally sound like more staticky and, and everything of that nature. Also, Jarvis, super cool. I'm actually, you know, that's the Iron Man Jarvis. Let me actually try like a real quick Marvel line. So if you don't know, Jarvis is in the Marvel series. What is Marvel? Or you probably know what Marvel is, but the Iron Man 
uh, the robot, the AI in that universe. I'm going to try this. This is Ultron, which was like the enemy in a way. I'm going to say, okay, say this in a Jarvis voice. <laughs> First thing that can be coming through your head right now. Okay, so we got Sora that creates videos that are coming harder, harder, indistinguishable. Harder to tell whether it's a real video or not. Now we're getting voices that are becoming harder, harder, indistinguishable. We're going to get movies here, y'all. The, the combination of these two elements is almost seems inevitable. Kind of like that Thanos line. I'm inevitable. So I got part of the speech here. This comes from the movie. That's an audiobook. I was meant to be new. I was meant to be beautiful. The world would have looked to the sky and seen hope and mercy. Instead, they'll look up in horror because of you. It's a little bit off. It's a little bit fast. Obviously, we could probably add more commas and stuff like that to enunciate parts of it more. But overall, this is pretty solid. Go ahead and use it yourself. It's completely free in the sense that you don't have to pay anything to 11 Labs to start leveraging this kind of technology, which is pretty cool. I'll leave the description down below so you can click it right away. I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here, which we're dumping into the GBT store and everything about GBTs. Without further ado, y'all, I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was referring to. This is a random video based off your clicks. Is the algorithm good or bad? Is YouTube taking you in the right direction or not? And that's my face. Let's see what happens in the next video.